today we are going to discuss about uh, simply separated beam subjected to inclined loads a horizontal beam abf length 4 meter is hinged at a and supported at rollers at b the beam carries inclined loads of 100 newton 200 newton 300 newton inclined at 60 degree 45 degree 30 degree to the horizontal draw the shear force and bending moment and the thrust diagram for the beam thrust diagram for the beam so this is a given problem so this in this problem the load are acting inclined not vertical not vertical but these forces can be resolved into a vertical and horizontal the vertical forces will produce bending moment and the horizontal forces will create thrust thrust means axial load when the loads are acting in the acting in the inclined direction it can be resolved into two forces the horizontal forces will create axial load so due to the axial load that will create a axial stress if it is compressive that will compressive stress if it is tensile tensile stress that we have studied in the first unit right so now the combination of axial as well as bending load so first step is we need to resolve the inclined forces into vertical and horizontal vertical and horizontal now we'll discuss this so this is a given problem this is a given problem now we have to resolve the forces into two components one is vertical another one is horizontal if you want to resolve this unit into vertical and horizontal then for example if you want to resolve so 100 newton forces first you take the 100 newton force the horizontal component is horizontal component is force acting horizontal is equal to how will you calculate the horizontal force that is 100 into cos theta if you put cos theta what is the value of theta it will be 60 it is 60 degree it will give the horizontal force what is the what is the value it is 50 it is 50 newton and if you find the vertical force if you find the vertical force that will be 100 into sin 60 100 into sin 60 so what will be the value 86 point 6 newton similarly for each force this is force at c at point c now you take the force at point d you find the horizontal force that is equal to 200 into cos theta cos 45 degree cos 45 degree <coughs> that is equal to 141.4 kilo newton for newton it is newton and f vertical f vertical is 200 into sin 45 sin 45 that is equal to again 141.4 newton similarly you find the forces at point e so the f horizontal will be 300 into sin 30 that will be equal to 259 259 newton similarly force vertical force vertical that is equal to 300 into sin 30 that is equal to 150 newton so these are all the forces these are all the forces now you take only the vertical forces now you take only the vertical forces so there are three forces the vertical forces this is 86.6 newton and this is 141.4 newton this is 259.8 newton and here the distances are this is 1 meter this is 1 meter this is 1 meter and this is 1 meter and this is point a b c 
D and E. Now, as usual, we have to find the shear force and bending moment, and draw the. We have to find the R E and R B, R E and R B. This is a simply supported beam. Then you have to find the R E and R B. You take moment about E. Take moment about E. If you take moment about E, R B multiplied by total distance four meters. That is equal to two fifty nine multiplied by three plus one forty one point four multiplied by two plus eighty six point six into one. So now you can find the value of R B. How to find the value of R A plus R B? R A plus R B. Yes, the force is one fifty newton. This is. 150 newton so now this is 150 150 into 3 141 and 86 into right now ra plus rb is equal to from this equation you can find the value of rb and ra plus rb is equal to that is total vertical downward force that is equal to total vertical upward force ra plus rb is equal to 86.6 plus 141.4 Plus 150. So using this equation, you can find the value of R E. You can find R E, right? After calculating R E and R B, know how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. You take <coughs> shear force at point B, shear force at point E, shear force at point D, shear force at point C, and E. Similarly, bending moment at point B and E are zero. Then you find uh, find the bending moment at point E, D, C. Now you draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So this is already we have discussed enough. Similar problem we have seen. Now another thing is here one horizontal force also coming at each point. There is a horizontal force. There is a horizontal force. So this horizontal force will create a thrust, axial force, axial. force if this uh, axial force for that also you have to draw the diagram axial force diagram you have to draw the axial force diagram now if you draw the beam like this this is a beam it is supported here it has some four sections here a force is how is a force 259 Here two fifty nine is acting. Who two fifty nine is acting? Here one forty one is acting. One forty one is acting. Here fifty is acting. Here fifty is acting. The reaction is here. Now, as we discuss in the first unit, as we discuss in the first unit, we can. Now, the two fifty nine two fifty nine is acting here left. Here the reaction is here. Reaction is here. So, the two fifty nine will act here. Reaction here. This two fifty nine. Here, how much amount of force will be acting? So now you have to write the equilibrium equation. You have to write the equilibrium equation towards left. Is equal to towards right, so this will be equal to fifty plus one forty one plus two fifty nine. Now this two fifty nine, this two fifty nine, you can balance. So that will be acting in section one, section two, and section three. This one forty one and this one forty one, you can balance. This is acting in section one and two. If you see in the section one, this fifty and this fifty, you can balance. So this is acting now. <clears throat> what is the net force acting in this section one? It is one fifty plus one forty one plus two fifty nine. So how much it is? Nine. Sorry, fifty one forty one 
and 259. And this is 10, 450. So here, 450 kilometer is acting. 450 at section 1, 450 kilometer is acting. At section 2, this and this. Here, this is how much? This is how much? This is 259. This is 259. This is here it is 141. Here it is 50. Here it is. Here it is 50. So now at section 2, 141 plus 259. 141 plus 259. 141 plus 259. Here 400. Here 400 uh, Newton is acting. At section 3, it is how much? 259. 259. So these are all the loads acting. At section 3, 259 is acting. Section 2, 400. And section 3, 450. Now how to calculate shear force and bending moment. So after calculating shear force and bending moment and the axial force, you have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram. Now, this is the shear force and bending moment diagram. <clears throat> see that uh, you see the uh, axial force. Axial force. Here it is. Here it is 259. In the section 3, it is 259. Here it is 259. So in the last session, there is no force. Here it is, the force is 0. See, here it is 259. Then in the section 2, it is 400. Actually, we uh, did not add the decimals. If you add decimal, it will come 401. In the third one, it is 450. It is, you can see here. Right? This is the axial force diagram. This is bending moment diagram. This is shear force diagram that you can draw easily. But now, if you see this beam, if you see this beam, from this beam, what do you understand? This is a positive bending moment. It is a positive bending moment. It is, it means the <coughs> positive bending moment means, what is the meaning? Is it sagging or hugging? It is a sagging. It is a sagging. Sagging means it will bend like this. It will bend like this right so as far as uh, as uh, due to the bending since it is sagging if the bending moment is positive then it is sagging it is sagging like this so now the top will be subjected to what stress compressive stress minus bottom will be subjected to what stress tensile stress tensile stress now you uh, see now you will see about the axial force axial forces <coughs> What about the axial force? Axial force is a compressive force. It is a compressive force. So if it is a compressive force, what type of stress will be developed? What type of stress will be developed? It is a compressive stress. So uh, top side also compressive. That is negative. Here also negative. So if you see in this uh, beam, which part will be subjected to maximum stress? If you here it is one is tensile, one is compressive. So you have to find the difference. If you find the difference, it will be lesser. But if you find here both are compressive, so the top side sur uh, surface, this point will be subjected to maximum compressive stress. So in this beam, in this beam, this point will be subjected to maximum stress. This point will be subjected to maximum stress. That that is what we can conclude from this um, beam. Right now, let us discuss one more problem. This is also something different. So, how to solve this problem? <clears throat> how to solve this problem? It is uh, a different problem, but it is easy to solve. But it is but easy to solve. This also a simply supported beam. This also a simply supported beam. But load is acting in a lever. A L shaped lever is there. In the lever, it is acting. Lever, it is acting so now what you have to do if you want to solve this problem first you got to shift this force here you got to shift this force here so how to shift this how to shift this one how to shift this one that you have to discuss now how to shift this one you have to discuss see 
<coughs> here you you take a 25 kilo newton at this point upward 25 kilo newton and downward 25 kilo newton actually 25 kilo newton is acting here what i am mean taking is to transfer the force here to transfer the here force here at this point you take a 25 kilo newton upward direction 25 kilo newton upward direction and 25 kilo newton downward direction these two forces are equal and opposite so net force will be zero you can do like this net force will be zero. so this beam and this beam are same now but we are taking a 25 kilo newton upward here 25 kilo newton downward here this also 25 kilo newton now you consider this force and this force you consider this force and this force these two are equal and opposite but separated by a distance separated by a distance how much distance 0.75 meter so then it will create a couple then it will create a couple. what kind of couple it will create it will create a counter clockwise couple it will create a counter clockwise couple what is the magnitude it is 25 multiplied by distance 0 0.75 0 0.75 this is a couple and also there is a downward force there is a downward force if you transfer the force here it will create a couple and force couple and force what is the force force is acting in the downward direction what is the uh, value 25 kilo newton 25 kilo newton and there is a couple what is the value 25 into 0.75 then the value will be 18.75 18.75 now we don't have this force now we don't have this force when the force is acting away from the beam then you have to transfer the load into the beam if you transfer the load into the beam then that is a, a load of 25 kilo newton downward direction and a couple and a couple or moment whatever it may be we call this a couple when why it is called as a couple it is produced because of the equal and opposite force it is separated by distance that is what it, we call this a couple unit of couple and moment are same newton millimeter or newton meter so now you can solve the problem easily now you can solve the problem easily you first find reaction at r a and r b now taking moment about taking moment about a if you take moment about a so this will create a counterclockwise moment so r b into how much distance four meters four plus this also i already one uh, couple is there already one couple is there that also counterclockwise couple you add that also here you need not put distance because it is already it is a couple already it is a couple the unit is newton kilo newton meter that is equal to here we have a 25 kilo newton force that will create a clockwise moment so i take right side the equation 25 multiplied by 2 25 multiplied by 2 then what is the value of rb rb is equal to how much it is 7.8 it is 7.8 kilo newton now you find the value of rb now you find the value of ra ra plus rb is equal to total down this is total upward upward load that is equal to total downward load what is the total downward load 25 here you should not take the couple couple in case of couple it is a equal and opposite force so it will be the force will be zero net force will be zero because that will that will that can that will get cancelled that will be zero so while you calculate the force you do not take the couple it will be equal to 25 now r is equal to 25 minus 7.8 that is equal to 17.2 17.2 kilo newton now we calculated ra and rb now it you find the shear force and bending moment now shear force at a how much it is if you take shear force at this point it is this is 7.8 this is 7.8 how much ra it is 17.2 then this will be upward force so minus 7.8 kilo newton what is the shear force at uh, we have taken this point as a c shear force at c this is equal to here there is a point load here there is a point load then you have to uh, 
uh, take uh, shear force two times. One is with that force and without that force. That is minus seven point eight kilo newton. The same force will continue up to this point. Then suddenly another minus seven point eight plus twenty five. This is downward. Downward is positive plus twenty five. So then what is the value? It is seventeen point two. It is seventeen point two kilo newton. Kilo newton. Now shear force at A. The same seventeen point two will continue up to this. Here also on seventeen point two. Then it will be zero. It will be shear force at A is equal to the same seventeen point two will continue. But this is minus. It is upward minus. So that seventeen point two minus seventeen point two that is equal to zero. Finally, it will come to zero. But the if you calculate without this area, that will be seven point seventeen point two kilo newton. Now you find the bending moment. Bending moment at A is equal to zero. Bending moment at B is equal to zero. Now you find the bending moment at C. So you have to uh, uh, please you remember this point while calculating bending moment while calculating shear force we calculate two times. When you will calculate two times when there is a point load you will calculate two times. When there is a point load we calculate two times. Why? Because of the point load the shear force will change suddenly. Similarly, in case of bending moment, when there is a bending moment, when there is a couple, you have to calculate uh, bending moment two times because here, here it is acting at a single point. The moment is acting at a, the couple is acting at a single point, so it will rise the bending moment suddenly. So you calculate the shear bending moment without considering the couple. With the, if you calculate that without considering the couple, this is a counterclockwise moment, so positive. So seven point eight multiplied by two. Seven point eight multiplied by two. It is fifteen point six kilo newton meter. Now you calculate the bending moment at C with considering the couple. With considering the couple, then fifteen point six. Plus this also counterclockwise couple. This also counterclockwise couple. So plus how much it is? Eighteen point seven five. Eighteen point seven five. How much total it is? Thirty four point four kilo newton meter. Now we calculated everything. Now we calculated everything. Then you have to draw shear force and bending moment diagram. Shear force and bending moment diagram. If you draw the shear force diagram, if you draw the shear force diagram in the beam. This is A. This is B. This is C. Now, shear force at A is equal to minus seventeen seven point eight. So minus seven point eight. It is negative. The same value will continue up to this point. Up to this point. After that, it is seventeen point two plus seventeen point two. It will go upward. Seventeen point two. Then the same will continue up to this point. Then it will come to zero. It will come to zero. This is minus. This is plus. This is seventeen point two. This is seven point eight. Seven point eight. This is a shear force diagram. If you draw the bending moment diagram, bending moment diagram. At this here it is zero. Here it is zero. And at bending moment at C, two times we calculated. One is without the couple and with the couple. So without the couple, let us say at the it is. Fifteen point six. Fifteen point six. You got to connect linearly. Why linearly? You got to connect because point load, bending moment. Then it is suddenly increasing to thirty-four point four. Thirty-four point four, and then it is coming to zero. So this point is, this point is fifteen point six. Fifteen point six. This point is thirty-four point four, and positive. So once again, I will tell you. Remember that when you calculate the shear force, when there is a point load, you have to calculate two times, without the point load and with the point load. Similarly, when you calculate bending moment, you calculate two times. Why? When when a beam is subjected to a couple, when a beam is subjected to a couple, you have to find bending moment two times. Without couple, you calculate the bending moment. With couple also, you will calculate the bending moment. So this is the way you have to solve the problem, right?